Hey, hi, hello everyone, it's Durs, and welcome to my new survival series. This has been requested for a long time by many of my supporters, some commented more than others, but either way, it got my attention and I'm starting a new survival. Now, as I nab this jungle wood, I'm gonna set out all my goals for this series. 1. Build some cool things. 2. Beat the Ender Dragon. And yeah, that's really it. Now you're probably wondering why I haven't made any tools yet and that's because I was seeing if there were any other biomes nearby because the jungle biome sucks big time. And once I saw all that water, I decided to get to work. First thing I made was obviously a wooden pickaxe but no other wooden tools because that's a waste of time and resources, especially if you have some stone right next to you. If you make all the wooden tools, you're just throwing all that wood out the drain. Instead you can be a smart human and just mine three stone like moi and craft a stone pickaxe. Now with the stone pickaxe you can mine the stone faster and gather resources much faster. But do not throw away your wooden pickaxe. I repeat never throw out any wooden tools. You can use those as fuel in your furnace if you don't have any coal. I guess you could also use wood if you were desperate, but you look more resourceful and feel like an eagle scout when you use your old wooden tools as fuel. I finally had 24 stone, which was an arbitrary number, but was just the perfect amount. I made a stone axe and was struggling to decide what else to make. A sword was useless because I heard through the grapevines that an axe does way more damage than a sword. I pondered whether I should get myself a hoe, but I ultimately decided to get a shovel because I thought I may need to make an underground shelter for the first night. Nighttime was coming quickly and I had no food. I also lost a couple of hearts during the first 30 seconds of the video, so food was of the necessity. I turned into Aquaman and just dominated these lowly fish. They had no idea what was coming for them. I did the breaststroke and absolutely smashed them with me axe. I had three raw cod to my name and a dream. I quickly crafted a furnace. And would you look at that, i glad I wasn't dumb like a certain someone and throw my pickaxe away because now I was able to cook me some fish and not eat sushi. And not that there's anything wrong with sushi, it's just that cooked food gives you more hunger bars. Anyways, I had spent a little too much time doing all this hunting stuff. It was time to explore the world and maybe find an area to build my house. I used some of my logs to build myself a great boat. I called it the incredible, tremendous, abominable, nefarious, impeccable canoe. Titanic for short. I boarded the Titanic and I was on my way, searching for greener pastures. After ruling the seas for 45 seconds, I made my way onto land and I immediately found some coal. And let me tell you, coal is just fun to mine. There's usually a good amount of it and you get XP from it. After mining all that coal, I had to use some of my parkour skills to scale this hill. So I just did a hop, skippity jump and I made my way to the top. And when I reached the peak, I was able to get more food. The cows stood zero chance to my stone axe. I was just slicing and dicing them up like it was no big deal. In the distance, while I was absolutely slaughtering these poor cows, I caught a glimpse of what looked like a ruined portal, and I had to make my way there. I did make a quick pit stop to get me some chickens, but after that, all I had my eyes on was that chest. And that chest was pretty okay, I guess. I actually don't know what the best thing to get would be, but I got some iron nuggets and a golden apple, which will always come in handy, especially when I have no armor. I did a lot of coal mining and by the time I was done, it had become the dreaded nighttime. The smart thing would have been to build a little hut until the nighttime passed, but who has time for that? So I just went on the run, hoping to find my future home. The next 5 minutes were not that interesting. I was just swinging from the trees like Tarzan and trying to avoid all the mobs at any cost. While I was on top of the trees, I had no worries because they couldn't jump up. But once I made my way down to surface level, I had to do some fighting. Thankfully, it was no problem, thanks to my axe. It was then after I had run for 5 minutes where I realized I somehow ran in a circle and I was back to the jungle. After that shock, I just turned around and started running in this direction. 
dodging and weaving because I had a couple of skellies on my back who were gunning for my head. But there was light at the end of the tunnel because I had found the plains biome, which is what I was exactly looking for because I needed to get some sheep to make a bed. I got one, two, and three and that was good enough for me. After decapitating the last sheep, I decided to finally get underground and wait out the night. I dug a couple of blocks down and blocked myself in with my furnace. The rest of this night was kind of boring. I cooked myself some more food, grabbed some more coal, and made myself a bed and I went to sleep. Now, as I got out of my bunker the next morning, I totally forgot that I had gotten some flint and steel from the ruined portal chest and I attempted to make some big brain plays like how all the speedrunners and great players do. The idea is to burn the animal so that once it dies you get cooked food instead of raw food. But thanks to my incompetence, I could not figure it out for the life of me, so I just gave up and moved on. I chopped down some logs here and there just doing some light deforesting before I actually set out to find my new home. And while I was fixing my inventory, I was actually just thinking about how it would be nice to find a village and make my house right next to it so I could trade with the villagers. And I took like five steps, lo and behold, there is a village. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Now, this village was huge, but like almost none of the houses actually had any chests, which was kind of lame, but it doesn't matter too much. I just wanted to trade with the villagers. There was a blacksmith in town so I thought I would introduce myself by rummaging through his belongings but he didn't have too much, just some obsidian. Nighttime was slowly approaching so I wanted to temporarily take one of these houses. I offloaded my stuff into this chest and I started cooking some more food. It was now time to go searching for some iron. I explored the town a bit more hoping it would have some sort of mine and it sure did. There was some exposed iron right on top and it was a big vein. I then found some more just a little bit further down. At the end of that small mining expedition, I had ended with 21 iron. I quickly smelted it all and the first thing I made with my iron was a shield. I then went on to make an iron pickaxe, a bucket, an iron chest plate, and some good old booties. In the end, I was able to find a village and get some iron armor, which I thought was really good. Also, let me know if there's anything you want to see me do in this series and I'll try my best to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, bye!